strong blow to terrorism from the 8th BRICS summit in Goa. The summit declared combating all forms of terror, including cross-border terror, as the top priority of the grouping. Prime Minister Narendra Modi said that there is a mothership of terror in India's neighborhood. BRICS nations also pitched for a stronger global commitment for combating corruption and repatriation of black money stashed away overseas. Prime Minister Narendra Modi called for isolation of those countries which nurture the philosophy of terrorism. Addressing the BRICS BIMSTEC summit in Goa, the Prime Minister, without naming Pakistan, said that one country in India's neighborhood embraces and radiates darkness of terror. Terrorism has become its favorite child. An army jawan, Sipai Sudish Kumar, was martyred when Pakistan Army initiated indiscriminate and unprovoked firing on Indian Army posts along the line of control in Rajauri sector yesterday. The Indian Army responded appropriately to the unprovoked firing by the Pakistan Army. Martyr Sipai Sudish Kumar, aged 24, is survived by his wife. The soldier hailed from Sambhal district of Uttar Pradesh. Amid the ongoing debate over triple talaq, Union Finance Minister Arun Jaitley has said the government is of the clear view that personal laws should be constitutionally compliant and in conformity with norms of gender equality and the right to live with dignity. In his official Facebook page, the Union Minister wrote, the issue with regard to the constitutional validity of triple talaq is distinct from the Uniform Civil Code. India and Hungary signed two agreements on Sunday during Vice President Mohamed Hamid Ansari's visit to that country. The first agreement is for cooperation in the field of water resources, including innovations in irrigation technology, and another pact is for promotion of cooperation between Indian Council of World Affairs and its Hungarian counterpart. The agreements were inked in Budapest. Urban Development Minister Venkai Naidu will visit Bhopal to review progress under various new urban missions in Madhya Pradesh. Chief Minister Shivrat Singh Chauhan and many central and state officials will be participating in scheme-wise review of the progress. An RSS worker was hacked to death on Sunday by two motorcycle bone men in Bengaluru. Case has been registered and investigations are on. RSS will stage a protest today against the murder. Section 144 have been imposed in four police station limits, Shivaji Nagar, Fraser Town, Commercial Street and Bharati Nagar in Bengaluru. Precautionary measures are being taken after the murder of RSS worker. Today is the deadline fixed by the Election Commission for 21 Amadmi Party MLAs to explain why they should not be disqualified from the Assembly after their appointment as Parliamentary Secretaries. They face disqualification from the Delhi Assembly for allegedly holding Office of Profit as Parliamentary Secretaries. A supervisory committee set up by the Supreme Court to inspect the Kaveri Basin for assessing the ground realities will file its report to the Apex Court today. It will assess water availability in the basin area and crop situation in the wake of drought. The Apex Court will hear the matter tomorrow. Delhi crime branch has busted yet another gang involved in minting fake coins and arrested two key players. This is a third module unearthed by the police within a fortnight. Earlier, Special Cell and Outer District Police had busted similar modules. The names given by the arrested men Sanjay Sharma and Sunil Kumar were a part of the modules busted earlier. Police suspected that there could be a mastermind collectively heading all the groups. In Nigeria, the recently released 21 schoolgirls in Boko Haram captivity for two and a half years are reunited with their parents in an emotional church service in Abuja of Nigeria. The schoolgirls and of young women were among 200 female students taken from their school in Chibok in the remote northeastern Borno state. In a shocking incident, 15-year-old daughter of former world champion sprinter Tyson Gay killed in a cross-firing between two groups in U.S. town of Kentucky. Police said Trinity Gay was hit in the neck during an exchange of fire between two vehicles in a restaurant car park. Police have launched a murder investigation into the shooting. China launched its longest manned space mission, sending two astronauts into orbit to spend a month abroad on space laboratory that is part of a broader plan to have a permanent manned space station in service around 2022. The Shenzhou-11 blasted off on a long march rocket. Prison authorities in Bangladesh's southern city of Khulna yesterday executed a senior Islamist extremist whose band group has been linked to the murder of foreign hostages. Asadul Islam, aged 42, a leader of the outlawed Jamaat ul Mujahideen Bangladesh, was hanged for his role in a 2005 blast that killed two judges. Bangladesh's courts have also fast-tracked prosecution of Islamist extremists. India continued its winning spree in the One Day Internationals too. Virat Kohli scored an unbeaten half-century to steer India to an easy six-wicket victory in the first One Day International of the five-match series against New Zealand at Dharamshala on Sunday. All-rounder Hardik Pandya declared the man of the match.